So originally I was gonna make a video about the continuity following the ending of the Flash movie, but holy crap, there is even more to talk about. First things first, the film is financially doing dog shit numbers. Numbers that are shockingly bad, like I'm talking Black Adam numbers. 55.1 million for its opening weekend, that's 12 million less than that of Black Adam. This I'm sure isn't the start that James and Peter even wanted. This year already, DC started like dog shit. Shazam 2 Fury of the Gods failed to touch with audiences, which resulted in an abysmal box office haul. 30 million opening, 57 million domestic gross, and 133 million worldwide only. Of course, this was the result of a lot of factors such as Zachary Levi's controversial comments, James Gunn's poor promotion of the film, and basically giving up on it, audience's interest in the sequel, the uprising superhero fatigue, and just mixed reviews for a mid-ass film. But a lot of those factors were similar ones to that of The Flashes. How did this film fail so hard? Well, here are a few speculations that I personally thought of and just from hearing other opinions online on the subject matter. For one, Flash is a character people really don't care about too much. I know it, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to swallow that, but the marketing did a poor job at trying to sell the film to audiences. I believe they didn't market this as the way they were supposed to. A multiversal epic that could reset the film's universe as we know it, which also includes Batman from the Tim Burton films and a female Superman. Now that sounds like some crazy shit of a film, but it wasn't marketed that way. Second, there were barely any press tours for the film. This is mainly the result of the strike in Hollywood, but neither the director, Andy Muschietti, Ben Affleck, or Michael Keaton did much of any promotion for the film. Of course, Ezra wasn't allowed to do any interviews for reasons. <laughs> But man, who the fuck was vocally promoting this movie? Where was James Gunn? Third, people didn't show up because of Ezra Miller's controversies, which was the reason for why my co-host Hector didn't go see the damn film. Fourth, the month of June was already packed. Spider-Verse, Transformers, Elemental, and then The Flash. All huge blockbusters releasing within weeks apart. General audiences are particular about what films they want to see. In fact, the average person only goes about two to three times to the movies per year. Fifth, the film really wasn't good. Mixed to maybe positive reviews. Negative reviews also flooded Rotten Tomatoes upon release, and it didn't help that many people saw this film weeks and weeks in advance. And they had already spoiled the biggest surprises. Plus, the full film was online in places like TikTok and Twitter, you know, a lot of those really important surprises were just spoiled for multiple people. <sighs> but alright, with that out of the way, let's get into the future of this franchise, if it even has one. Spoilers ahead for those who haven't seen the film. So, who is in? Well, we really don't know 100% yet. We at least know who is out, which of course is Henry Cavill's Superman, Ben Affleck's Batman, and then Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman's future is really uncertain, but it's most likely she will be out. At the end of the film, we see an older Bruce Wayne come out of his car, and it is revealed to be George Clooney, otherwise known as the worst Batman according to fans. We don't know if he will stay as Batman or if he's just there as a cameo. Ezra Miller is also staying as The Flash, we believe, and Jason Momoa is staying as Aquaman which was revealed at the end credits of the film. Of course, none of this is certain as box office numbers and actors controversies could make these characters just leave the universe. But Supergirl and Michael Keaton's Batman are not in the new timeline, we believe. Both seem to be dead in the final battle of the film, which really leaves more questions than any answers or any resolutions. They were honestly just awkwardly abandoned dead in their universe. Let's get nuts. So the new lineup goes as follows. Ezra Miller as The Flash, Jason Momoa as Aquaman, George Clooney as Batman, a new actor as Superman, Wonder Woman's future is uncertain, Blue Beetle is introduced as the first new DCU character, and of course, all of James Gunn's friends are set to return. Man, what the fuck is even going on anymore? 
who knows what this will even lead to if the future seemed uncertain before this film's release the future seems even more uncertain now well on the bright side at least we get to talk about more juicy dc drama and i get to talk about it with you guys well that's it for now i'll update you guys on any future events on this fallen franchise i'll see you at the end of the year dcu summary or sooner if they end up fucking up again with blue beetle we'll just have to see with that take care people subscribe and peace everyone's flocking to mcdonald's to get their flippers on batman now, Batman Returns is on a dramatic series of collector cups with flying crispy bat disc lids straight from the movie. Good. You can get your flippers on a large drink in one of six 32-ounce collector cups at a special price when you buy any extra value meal because what you want is what you get at McDonald's today.